just I got to jump into parenthood because I miss the kids. I'm traveling. I'm on a TV shoot. Mm. You know, I, I'm gone for weeks at a time. I, I was looking at my calendar today for the holiday season. And it's it's sad, my love. Like, I, I know your calendar well. Yes. I'll come home just in time for Thanksgiving. I'll leave when the turkey's still warm. Yep. And I'll be gone until like two days before Christmas. Yep. And I'm going to fly in and I'll probably do everything wrong for the five <laughs> days of Christmas, celebrate New Year's, and then be on my way again. And I just, it's, yeah. it's heart wrenching to do this on the holidays with you guys. Um, but, but what's really funny to me is that, you know, our son, who's the ray of sunshine is the one that plays army soldiers. And yeah. he's the one that researches swords and he's the one that loves guns. And he's the one that'll sit in the backyard and shoot BBs with me. Right. Mm -hmm. He's the one that taught his sister how to use a BB gun. Yeah. Right. Those are some of my favorite photos are the two of them lined up with their safety gear on shooting BBs downrange. Oh mm -hmm. my gosh. Meanwhile, our daughter who like, she is the, she's the evil priest from Indiana Jones temple of doom, right? Kalima. <laughs> <laughs> that is her but she'll play with barbies and she'll play with lol dolls and she'll look like the sweetest innocent thing in the world until you cross her mm -hmm. yep there's a little bit of that in you there's a little bit of kali ma in you i know the, the world doesn't see it because they don't see you when the cameras are off but i know <laughs> well what's funny about <laughs> it's true what's what's funny about me and our daughter is that we really are kind of um we tend to the extremes and we need somebody mm. to pull us back to center i don't know if you remember um when we were dating when we were first dating i used to make you drive all over the place because it was dc and i hate driving in dc um but i have like internal temperature issues <laughs> So, yes, oh my gosh. And I'm from Florida, so I wasn't used to a place with four seasons. So I was like, the seasons were changing. I would like be warm and then I'd be cold. And, and to fix it, I would like turn the dial all the way up, like all the way hot <laughs> or all the way cold. And you would slowly try to reach over and adjust it to the center or adjust it just like one degree higher. And I'm like, I am freezing right now. And you're like, one degree higher is going to make a difference. I promise you. Just give it 15 minutes. I'm like, I'm shaking in my boots. I was freezing my ass off. And you're like, I promise you. Just trust me. And over the last, you know, how long have we been together? 15 years. I have finally started recognizing that if I make it one degree warmer, it actually works. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know that you've actually changed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you still pound that thermostat all hot, <laughs> all cold. But but then later on, I do kind of see you adjusting it a little bit. Yeah. But, you know, I'm willing I'm willing to bet that your temperature issues are not unique to you. And I'm also willing to bet that my frustration with how you handle the thermostat is probably not unique to me <laughs> because you want instant results. Like, I get right. it, my love. I totally get it. Because you are a you are a process oriented person who values results. So when you're cold, you're like, I don't want to be cold anymore. And I think in your brain, you're like, even if I was sweating right now, it would be better than being cold. So you turn everything up to full heat. Mm -hmm, because I want to be and, warm now. And then like three yeah. minutes later, we're sweating. And yeah. then you're like, why am I sweating? I just want to be cool. And then you pop it all the way down to full cold again. Like, oh my, especially in rental cars. <laughs> rental cars are a they are a drivable comedy skit with you because <laughs> you swear at the car because you don't know how its thermostat works because some of them are digital some of them have like a left and right thermostat they're all like some way them, newer than the car we I, own <laughs> we were in colorado and it had heating seats so the seats would get hot and you kept turning the ac down because you were like why am i so hot right now i just want it to be cold and I'm like, your seat is on, you have the temperature, the, the seat is hot and your air is cold and your body feels confused. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this short clip, make sure you click here to see the next clip or here to see the full podcast episode. Freedom! So fresh, so new.